Hello all, in this particular tutorial, we will learn how to set up the database link from Oracle to SQL Server. This tutorial is done on Oracle 19C running on Linux 8. I got a local Oracle database called Aura 19D running on DB1. I got a remote SQL Server 2020 database called test underscore MS SQL running on Win19. Here, DB1 is the host name for Aura 19D. Win19 is the host name for test MS SQL. We will be creating DB link in Aura 19D pointing to SQL Server database called test underscore MS SQL. Or in other words, we will connect to Aura 19D and access tables present in test underscore MS SQL database. So the connection will be made to Oracle database. And from the Oracle database, we will be accessing the tables which are present in test underscore MS SQL, which is in SQL Server 2022 database. So the Aura 19D DB link will point to the SQL Server 2022 database and we will be accessing the tables present in SQL Server 2022 database from the Oracle database. Before we proceed, make sure that Unix ODBC package is installed. If that is not installed, go ahead and install that on your system. Now, there are some steps that we need to do on source Oracle database server. So wherever your Oracle database is running, on that particular host, in our case, that's DB1, we need to perform some steps. Some of the steps will be performed with root. Some of the steps will be performed with Oracle user. So what are the steps with root? So we have to do two things. We have to install the Microsoft SQL Server ODBC drivers, and then we'll be creating an ODBC entry in etc.odbc ini file pointing to remote SQL Server database. Once these two tasks are done, then we can switch to Oracle, and then we need to do three things with Oracle user. One, create unit init parameter file called init init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.init.
the this is the driver name again the same driver that we have used here same driver will be specifying here and odbc.ini will tell the, the 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 configuration where to look for the odbc so it will tell oracle where to look for the odbc entry once you have created the init parameter file we will use this sid to register in our listener so edit the listener file and register the static do the static registration of that sid with a dg4 odbc program with the oracle home so we will be performing the static registration of this particular sid into the listener and then we will also create an tns entry pointing to the same sid pointing to the same sid and here this name can be of your choice this is the tns entry name it can be of your choice whatever you want to give once this is done once these three things are done so what are the three things that i mentioned create init parameter file, register SID in listener.aura, create entry in tenancename.aura. Once these three things are done, you are now ready to create DB link in the Oracle database. Our setup is done. We will go ahead and create the DB link in Oracle database, optionally create synonym. So how to create the DB link? To create the DB link, you'll, you can create either the public DB link or private. I have given example of public here, but you can create private DB link as well. So here this is the name of db link so create public database link name of your db link connect to this becomes the user the ms sql user who has the ac who has the access on the remote sql server database so this is that particular user this is the password of this particular user and this refers to this refers to this entry so once we have created the db link now we are ready to access the data from your SQL Server database from the Oracle. So this test table comes from the SQL Ser Server database and we are now ready to access the data from that SQL Server database from the Oracle. Optionally, if you want to create synonym, you can go ahead and create synonym. The synonym allows you to refer to the table without the name of the table at the billing. So you can access that synonym here like this. So when you actually select from that particular synonym, you are actually referring to the base table hosted on remote SQL Server database over the DB link. So you can select directly from the synonym. Now that we have seen all the steps. So what we need to do that there are there are two things that we will be doing as a root installing the odbc driver and creating odbc entry in etc odbc.ini and then there are three things that we'll be doing as oracle before doing that we'll also verify that there is this odbc unix odbc package is present on the server so let's go to the server let's log in as a root because there are some things that we need to do as a root so let's log in as a root let me clear the screen let's verify whether we got the odbc package and yes, you can see Unix ODBC is installed. So that looks good. And here, as I mentioned, let's take a look at whether we have got this particular file. This is the driver. You can see no such file or directory. This particular file will be downloaded. This particular file will be installed when you install the MS ODBC SQL driver. So here, if you see, I got this repo command and then I'm going to do this. So from where I got this, you know, do one thing. Let's open the browser and search for Let's open the browser and search for install ODBC package for MS SQL on Linux. So you got you got this link. And if you go here, so based on your version, so I chose ODBC 17. So based on this, and I'm doing it on rail server. So based on this, based on your version, so I'm doing it on rail 8. So take this command. And this is the exact command that I've used. So this is the exact command that I've used. And after that, to install the ODBC, I've done this. I've installed used this particular command. So these are the two commands. And I told I showed you from where I got those two commands. So I searched the web and got these two commands. So these are the exact two commands that I'm I'm going to hit. So the first thing is installing the repo and then accepting the license and installing the ms odbc package now i'm going to open another session because i want to show you that you know what happens once you install so let me open another session let me minimize this let me put it in center let me clear the screen the first part is installing the repo so let's use the curl command to install the repo that looks good that's done and the second command is to install the odbc package and give it a minute for that particular package to install and that looks good so the this installation is completed now let's go back to the original screen and here you can see this particular file 
when I did ls minus l, no such file or directory. Now, if I run this, you can see we got the odbc SQL ca17.so, which means the odbc file, ms odbc file has been installed. And when I ran this particular command, rpm minus qa, I had only Unix odbc. Now you can see I got MS ODBC SQL 17. So the installation part is done. We are through with the installation part. The first step is done. We have installed the MS ODBC SQL 17. The second part is creating the ODBC entry. And the here, as I mentioned, this driver name, this driver name is what we got from here. So this is the exact, if you see this location, user lib64, lib MS ODBC is the same name that I've used while, while setting up the odbc entry in odbc.ini file so i'm going to create this odbc entry as root this is the second step which is the last step as a root so let's take this let me clear the screen and i don't need the screen so let me close this and let me hit bi etc odbc and there is nothing in that odbc.ini file so i'm going to create our odbc entry so that, that looks good so here this is the name of your odbc entry this is optional description is optional this is the driver and i showed you from where we got it this is the server where your sql server is running this is the port of your sql server and this is the sql server database name so we are going to create this entry let's save this and if you want to verify you can verify using the cat command and that looks good so the the odbc entry has been created at this moment our work as oracle has uh, sorry our work as a root is done switch to oracle user so i think i logged in as oracle user so let me exit and uh, yeah i am logged in as oracle user so now what we need to do there are three things that we need to do as oracle user what are the three things create init parameter file register sid in listener.ora create entry in tnsname.ora once this is done you are now ready to create the debilink so these are the three things that we will be doing as oracle user let's go ahead and do them one by one so before doing that let's switch to our environment so i'm going to set the or in the or an entity that sets my oracle home etc etc so where where do we create the init parameter file i have mentioned this oracle home hs admin that's where we create this and this becomes your sid remember this becomes your sid and this 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 name comes from the data source name the odbc whatever data source name that you gave in odbc.ini that particular name comes under hsfds connect info let's hit let's create this particular file and that is currently empty obviously that we are just creating it so let's take this and hit enter so that's done we have created this particular file this is the driver only four to five parameters this is the this is the location of odbc parameter file this is the name of your data source from the odbc.ini and this is the odbc driver so let's save this now what we are going to do we are going to register so this becomes your sid this sid we are going to register in our listener.ora so let's go to our listener.ora the second file and we are going to register that particular sid as dg4 odbc program that looks good let me let me close this i'll show you a little bit bigger so that you can look and you can see that we have dg4 odbc inst.ms sql that sid under oracle home so we have done this registration now since we have done the since we have changed the listener.ora file we have to, we can either stop or start listener or we can do the reload of the listener but what i'm going to do before doing that i'm going to just show you that there is only one service the local or 19 d database which is registered so what we need to do if i do the if i don't want to do stop and start because that will that will bring the downtime so i'm what i'm going to do i'm just going to reload my listener and you can that's done and if i now see the status you can see inst underscore ms sql is now registered or what i can do i can actually grab for only that so let me clear the screen and let me grab for status and you can see inst ms sql service is now registered with our listener so that looks good so the next part is creating the entry in tns names or a file and here that is the entry for the local database what we are going to do we are now going to create a tns ms sql entry 
and this again as i mentioned this is your choice this has to be the same as sid so this has to be same as sid this is your choice so let me save this that's done verify that that tns entry is working fine using the tns ping command and that looks good so at this moment we have done all of these three things created init parameter file registered sid in listener.aura created entry in tnsnims.aura our work as oracle is done we are now ready to log into our oracle database and create the db link pointing to sql server database and let's do that so here i've got this sql developer and i'm, the, I'm going to take these commands and you can create you can create a public or private let me remove this let me create a private db link and what i'm going to say here this is the name of db link this is the user on the sql server database who has the access to the sql server database this is the password of that user and this is the tns entry which is referring to that particular remote database so let's create this db link that's done and now if whatever we have done is successful then we should be if i access this table test then we should be able to get the data from sql server database in the oracle database so from the oracle database we are going to access the test table which is hosted on sql server so let's see if we are getting the data if whatever we have done is good and that looks good so this particular data came from the sql server db now you may not believe me that it is coming from the sql server db so what i'm going to do i'm going to prove it to you just one minute let me go to that let me let me go to that particular server where the db is running so this is the this is the evaluation version and let me launch let me say new query and let me run the select star from test on the sms let me run this and you can see we got this one record and this particular record one ms sql db this particular record is appearing here now if you still don't believe me then what i'll do i will insert a new record into sql server db which should appear in the oracle so let me go to the sql server let me add a new record this the current record is 1 ms sql db let me add the second record called 2 new record in the sql server 2022 database so let me add this that's done now if i do select start from test i got two records and let's see if these two records are coming here over the db link in the oracle database the record that we inserted let's prove and yes, we got the second record to new record, which means our DB link is working. So now optionally, if you want to create the synonym, you can create the synonym pointing to the remote test table, which is over the in the SQL server over the DB link. You can create the synonym. Let's create the synonym. And once we have created the synonym, if you want to access the test table using the synonym name, it actually goes to this particular table and this and over the db link and it will get us the data so let's run this particular query and we got exactly same data which means we have successfully created the db link from oracle to sql server so in this particular tutorial we learned how to set up the database link from oracle to sql server we followed this particular steps install microsoft sql server odbc driver create odbc entry in etc odbc.ini file pointing to remote sql server database create init parameter file, register SID in listener.aura, create entry in tnsnims.aura. Once this is done, we logged into the database and created the DB link. Optionally, if you want, you can create the synonym. And again, I would like to say thank you for watching. See you in next tutorial. If you do like the videos that I'm uploading to my channel, if you do like the content that I'm uploading to my channel, do hit the like, do, do hit the like button, do hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. See you in next tutorial. Till then, bye-bye.